Glass faucets elevate indoor plumbing to an art form. The glass is handcrafted in a range of shapes and patterns for visual effect. Metal components are fused into the glass to deliver one of the necessities of modern life, running water. Glass faucets are about both form and function. Glass faucets have a delicate beauty, but they're stronger than they look. The glass is very thick, allowing the faucets to hold up to heavy use. Making a glass faucet starts with chunks of clear glass. A glass worker loads the glass into an oven at 2,190 degrees Fahrenheit. Another worker selects black and white billets of glass to add stripes and patterns to the clear glass. He preheats them so the glass won't shock and fracture when exposed to higher temperatures. With a metal rod, he gathers a clump of the clear glass from the main oven. With a chunk of glass, he picks up the preheated white cylinder, simultaneously exposing both to the flames. This process makes the glass flexible. Using a curved wood tool, the glass worker gathers the clear glass at the base and wraps it around the white billet, encapsulating it. He attaches the other end of the glass to a second metal rod. This allows the glass to stretch as he pulls it across the room. The glass is now over 35 feet long and pencil thin. It starts to cool and solidify immediately as it's set down. The glass workers tap the glass against a piece of metal to break it into eight inch pieces called canes. They shape another piece of clear glass by rolling it on a metal table called a marver. The glass worker blows through the metal rod, causing the glass on the end to bubble. It will eventually become the faucet and two handles. He adds a layer of black molten glass to the bubble. Another glass technician arranges the striped canes on a grooved iron plate and heats them with a torch. Meanwhile, a glass worker rolls the hot glass bubble onto the canes, which stick together. Then it's back into the furnace, and the white striped canes melt into the black bubble. Next, the craftsman rolls the glass across the marver repeatedly. He pinches the canes at the top, closing them around the bubble. The glass is reheated to keep it pliable as the craftsman continues to form it. The craftsman transforms the bubble into a hollow glass tube, then elongating the tube to its desired length. Using a pincer-like tool, he forms the end into a round handle shape, while another glass worker applies heat to the glass with a torch. This keeps the glass pliable. He then creates a hole for a piece of metal hardware. Then he applies molten glass to the metal hardware and inserts the hardware into the round faucet handle. This cuts the handle free from the rest of the glass. Using a forming tool, the craftsman refines the shape of the glass. Next, he preheats a metal mold. This stops the hot glass tube from fracturing as he bends it around the mold to shape it into the faucet. Once the faucet has taken shape, it's ready to go into the annealing oven. The glass is placed in the oven at a low temperature and then cooled. This process removes stresses and strengthens the glass. Meanwhile, using high pressure water that contains fragments of garnet, a craftsman cuts steel trim rings and a display plate for the showroom. Next, the craftsman installs the glass faucet on the display plate by threading a nut to the faucet valve. He installs the trim rings at the base of the handles and assembles them to the display plate using the hardware that's been fused to the inside of the glass. The craftsman uses a rag to clean the faucet of any fingerprints and smudges. Finally, construction is complete. This unique glass faucet is ready to make a statement. <laughs>